Hi everyone. So in this particular video lecture, we'll be learning something called as resource codes and how to assign the resource codes to our resources. And then how can we group and sort or maybe filter by those resources based on these resource codes. So what are resource codes uh, at the very first place? See, there are several resources. If we go to our resource tabs, see how to open the resource tabs. I have already discussed multiple times. You can just go to this particular option in the directory bar and the resource tabs will open. So right now it is displaying all the resources. So what we can do is we can just open the resources, which are our own resources. So filter by the current projects resources. So now the resources of our project are only displayed here. Okay, now see what can happen is we can filter these resources based on some predefined things. Okay, like based on the type of resource, based on the unit of measurement. How can we do this? You can just go to uh, group and buy. Then you can go to customize. Then you can go to group by and uh, let us go for resource type. Okay. So if we click on OK, then you will see that now these resources are uh, segregated on the base of resource type. Similarly, we can change this filter to any other filter that we want. Like instead of resource type, suppose if you want to be displayed on the basis of calendar, we know that there is one particular activity called as plastering, which we have defined for different calendar. Rest all activities are for IT calendar only. So we'll try with calendar. So you can see here that only one activity is uh, following the only one particular resource is following the plastering calendar. Rest all activities are following the IT building calendar. So this is how you can use the group and uh, group and filter option, group and sort by option for only predefined set of values. But suppose we have certain subcontractors who are giving us these particular resources. Like for example, let us say electricians and maybe MEP helpers are coming from a particular vendor. Similarly, block work mason and carpenter and uh, plastering mason are coming from different vendor. Similarly, there are separate vendors for separate resources. So I assign those vendors to these resources. Now I want to know that what all resources are being supplied to me by a particular vendor. Then how can I do this? Since there is no particular predefined option of subcontractor or vendor in the group and sort by. So we need to create one resource code for this particular facility. So let us create and then let us see the application of resource code practically. Okay. So first of all, you need to add the resource code. How to add the resource code? You need to go to the enterprise option in the tools bar and you need to expand this and you can go to the resource codes. Okay. So first of all, no resource codes are defined. So we need to click on modify. So it is already telling us to click on modify and we can add a resource code. So let us name the resource code as subcontractor type okay so this is done and we can choose the uh, maximum length as 20 for the names of the resource codes so we can now click on close <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to add some types of subcontractors here <clears throat> let us say one subcontractor is qc private limited so this is the code basically so we'll type qc and description we'll give as QC private limited. So this is one resource code. Another we can add, like let us say PQ. So we'll go for PQ engineering limited. Okay. Next we can add our Wales. Wales is the name of the company for which this project is being executed. So suppose some particular labor or staff is only from Wales only internal staff. So we will define one for Wales also. Okay. So let us define one more subcontractor. Let's say X, Y, Z. So X, Y, Z private limited. So these are the names of the company which are supplying the resources to us. So we have <coughs> successfully created the resource code of subcontractor type and inside that we have added four types of subcontractors. So this is how to create the resource codes. Now it is the time to assign the resource code. So how to assign the resource code? Either you can do it from 
detailed view for every particular activity for every particular resource you can go there you can assign this particular resource or another method can be you can customize the columns here and you can add the resource code that you have created from here also you can add it after resource name and you can click on okay so now you see that suppose dumper is coming from let's say uh, pq so we'll assign this particular subcontractor suppose sanitary fixtures are coming from qc so we will assign this here okay let us say mep helper is coming from xyz so we will assign this particular here let us say concreting pump is our internal only wales private limited we will assign this similarly let us say paint we will assign qc so basically we are assigning two resources to each particular subcontractor very arbitrarily we are choosing this okay now one more is left which is xyz so that's all we are assigning you can assign every resource if you want but we are just doing it for the demonstration purpose so we have assigned the subcontractors now now i want to know that what all resources are being supplied to me by wales private limited or let's say qc private limited so how to do this you just need to go to group and sort by you can customize and you can choose the subcontractor type here. Okay. And then you can click on okay. Or if you want to sort grouping and all, you can do that also. It will sort the types of subcontractors in alphabetical order. So now you see for PQ Engineering Limited, it has sorted the resources. For QC, it has sorted for Wales also and for XYZ also. <laughs> and then all the resources to which we did not uh, apply any subcontractor type. It has sorted that also. So this is how we can do the grouping and sorting. We can undo this effect also by clicking on default. Now we'll be using this based on the types of subcontractors. I hope the content of the video was clear to you. So that's all about the video. Thank you everyone.